I am going through my fall decorations and I wanted to share that with you before I start decorating and before I do any more shopping. And these are some of the things that I have. Now, I also have a box of pumpkins somewhere. I am not, I'm not entirely sure where the box of pumpkins is. I think I might have gotten it mixed up with my Christmas stuff, but this is the bulk of my fall decorations after I did the Great Purge of 2019. So, I will start going through this stuff and let you see what we're working with. You can take a watch of the tutorial on this one. This is one that I did last year. It's just a foam wreath. You can see the front, a little simple wreath. Okay, this is a, a concrete sort of pumpkin. Let's see, it originally came from Target this threshold and then but I got this from a store called dirt cheap and I probably paid maybe two dollars for it I wouldn't have I know my limits and I usually wait until items are 80 and 90 percent off and here are some napkins I think it's a set of one two three four they can be used any time of year but I use them on my table settings um, some ceramic pumpkin dishes Got these at Goodwill. Don't know. This is 2005 Chantel. Not sure where they came from originally. These I got for 90% off at Target a couple years ago. And see, there's the Target little sign there. So I got two of those. They're good for coffee or cookies or whatever. All right, this is a DIY I did from an old, an old vegetable or something book. It was like a gardening book, but it had pumpkins in it. So this sign was originally from, I believe Kirkland's. It had something else on it. I painted it black and then I just, I used some Mod Podge. There we go. And I put one on each side. And there's supposed to be a bow there, but I took it off because I didn't like didn't like what it was doing. It wasn't matching my aesthetic that I was going for. Here's a candle that I got from Marshalls. I've used it a little bit. I love the jar more than anything. It is a pumpkin latte scent. Patty wax. This is from Dollar Tree. This is a DIY from last year. It is a, a little squishy stuffed pumpkin that I made. I don't have a link for that, but if it's something that you're interested in, I'll be happy to do a tutorial to show you how I did it. And I actually have, whoops, I have two pumpkins. So I have one in this style and then this one. And here's a, a little pumpkin dish. Not sure. IQ accessories. Not sure where this came from. A leaf tray that came from Dollar General. Probably got that on the clearance sale after the holiday. I cannot recall where I got this, but I love it. I, I just have a thing with trees. If you can see the, the tree there on each side. A tea light in it. It's really pretty. This, I believe, came from Dollar Tree, maybe. Pumpkin. This one I got from Goodwill. This is a DIY from last year. I can quickly put out a video of that if you want to see how I made it. And I had to it as reversible because I was gonna complete it and I just didn't get a chance to complete it. Last year was a rough year.
some apple garland that I got from Goodwill. Don't know for sure if I'll use that this year. <laughs> this sign came from Cracker Barrel. My daughter works there and she brought me this home. We're all nuts. And it's funny because we're a bunch of silly people in this house. It's kind of understood if you come over, there's no telling what you might walk into. These are frames that I got from Goodwill. They were already matted and these pumpkins are for the same book that I got for that standing piece. So not sure what this was, but I paid per pound for the frame, so I didn't pay very much money for them. And then there is another one. This is a tablecloth that may or may not be using in my craft stash. It came from Dollar General, I think. Then I have this pumpkin, came from Goodwill. This one, I think, came from Dollar Tree. Oh, it's got a little crack in it. This I got from Goodwill. No, no, this one I got from Dirt Cheap and it was 90% off. So just a larger bale of hay. This was a DIY from this year. It was from Goodwill. This is a DIY from last year. Dollar Tree stickers and a piece of cardboard on the back. Yep. I bought these this year from Dollar Tree. I got four of them. They're just a goldish looking charger. I got this from Dirt Cheap, but I think it was Target originally. It says Gather. There's only one of them. I got this from Dirt Cheap, and it is a tablecloth. I have used it for Thanksgiving before. I've had it for several years, but it, this year it may be repurposed into something else. Here is a pillow that I picked up from Goodwill. So the tags were removed. Not sure where it came from, but this is uh, stitched on. It's really nice. All are welcome here. This came from the Hobby Lobby Spring Sale and I got it for 70% off of $21. This one is new. It came from Hobby Lobby this year. And I think it was $19.99. I don't have the sticker. I think it was $19.99 and it was 40% off. And the last thing in the box is this one. It says, Happy Fall, y'all. And this one came from uh, Goodwill. Um, looks like it was from Hobby Lobby as well at one point for $24. Then it went to $5.95. And then I got it. I paid per pound for it at Goodwill. So we'll move on to the next section now. All right, so the next little section here is going to be some wreaths that I made last year. And I have this one. All of these materials, except for these picks, came from Goodwill. These are gorgeous flowers. These came from Dollar Tree. Yeah, that's one that I made. And this one also, all the materials came from Goodwill except for the pomegranates, which came from Dollar Tree. And some of the items you may look at it and say, oh, well, that came from Dollar Tree. Well, it might have, but I actually got those from Goodwill. So someone originally could have bought it like from Dollar Tree, but I bought it from Goodwill. So there's that one. And in this little box, I have the pumpkin with the leaf overlay that I did this year. I'll link that below if you want to see how this was done. This is a little bucket that came from Dollar General several years ago after the holidays when it went on clearance. These pillow 
covers came from Goodwill. I've used those for a couple years now and I'll use them in my bedroom on my bed most of the time, but who knows where they'll end up this year. Here's a little thrifted pumpkin, came from Goodwill. This is a cup that my oldest daughter bought for me. Gather here with grateful hearts. And if she bought it, it probably came from Cracker Barrel, but that's just a guess because she works there. This is a DIY from this year. So I'll link that below for you if you're interested. Here's a little sign that I showed you in the very first couple of videos. I didn't know if I wanted to do anything more with it or leave it, but I think I'm gonna leave it just like this and probably sit it in a tiered tray, but I'm not, not for certain, but there it is. Here is a Dollar Tree sign I got this year. Nothing to it. I thought it was good. I'm not a big glitter fan, but I think it, I think it's tasteful in this picture. I think it's okay. Here is a candle holder. Needs to be cleaned out, obviously. But this, I, I kind of want to say this was threshold. I'm not sure, but I've had this for many, many years. I had a yummy pumpkin candle in it originally. Here is a candle that I didn't finish from last year, Spiced Pumpkin Cider. And it also came from Goodwill, believe it or not, which is a good thing, because there's no way I would have paid $4.50 for a candle that's that small. And the last thing in this box is the sign that I showed you in one of my first few videos um, as a project that I was working on. And until I get it placed, I'm not going to know for sure whether or not I want to add a bow to it or add some greenery to it. I'm going to leave it um, just like this until I decide where I want it. And then I'll make sure that it fits into the rest of my decor. All right, that's it in that box. We're going to move on to the next section. Here is my lovely little scarecrow that I made earlier this year. Still gotta spray paint the back of it or do something to cover up that before he goes on the porch. Here's a pumpkin topiary that I did last year. And I'm trying to decide whether or not I wanna use him on the porch or if I wanna change up the colors because I'm going for a little more muted this year. So I may have to paint the pumpkins. I'm not. Not for certain. I kind of like it the way it is, but I guess we'll see. I don't know what you would call this, but this decor piece reminds me of an acorn, so I think, I think that it looks good for fall decor. In this bag, and yes, it is absolutely a bedding bag. A, mat, a bed spread or something came in it. So here's my garland pieces. I had this one on the mantle last year. It's got some sunflowers and pine cones in it. This one is a little bit wilder looking. Let's see. And it has some moms and it looks like some little daisies in there. And it's really pretty. They're really pretty. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I will use both of these this year. Problem is my mantle is huge and the garlands are short. So it usually takes several pieces to even make a statement on our mantle. These both came from Goodwill because I just can't see myself paying $20 for a piece of garland. Okay, so we'll go with this one next. Let's make sure we're in frame. All right, so I got these. I watched Auntie Cuckoo's video. She did um, a shop with me in Walmart and they had these gorgeous pumpkins and a variety of other ones, but these are 98 cents. I was gonna do a DIY on some um, some more fabric wrap pumpkins, but if you can buy them for 98 cents, why would you wanna take the time or spend the money on making them yourself? I don't know, that's just me, but you know, you do you. But anyway, I got those three. This is a wreath that I just made and it should have just come out. Oh, that's the Weather Channel, sorry about that. Uh, this video should be out now, and I'll link it below for you if you're interested in seeing how we did this. But it did come from Dollar Tree and Thrifted Materials. So, really pretty. I'm very proud of this, and I've gotten some very good feedback on this. So, it definitely is going to be part of my home decor this year. Very pretty. 
This is a, a bag that I think you would put drinks in or bottles in or something like that. It, it almost feels like it's insulated canvas on the inside, but I usually do floral arrangements in these. It just says hard cider, crisp and delicious on both sides. And it looks really pretty with stems coming out the top. I might even maybe do some wheat or something in the top this time. That's a cute little practical piece. This came from Marshalls on clearance a couple years ago. This is a DIY I did and got no video footage because I was having serious problems uploading footage off of my iPad, off of my phone, off of my husband's phone. And finally I said, forget it, I'm gonna get out the camera. So now I use my camera. I don't have any footage. All I can tell you is this is Mod Podge. This is a napkin from Dollar Tree on top of this pumpkin. This is a piece of cork sheeting that's here and here. This is thrifted. This is thrifted. This is a piece of burlap that I just cut to fit and put on there. And then this is a piece of this napkin that I put on cardboard and then just glued it on there. Put them back on the stands. You know, and there they are glued together pretty in the back. But I think it's pretty. It definitely matches, so it will be in my decor somewhere this year. Okay, here we go. This is a sign that I got at Marshall's. I got it on clearance for $3 this year, believe it or not. This was in the spring stuff, so I guess it got left behind last year. But I like it. And this is from Walmart last year when they had their 90% clearance on their fall. Um, it was $4.98, but I paid like 49 cents, I guess. I cannot decide if I want to paint this or leave it. I'm going to have to wait until I get it up in a vignette or in some type of a setting to see if I need to change that. The dark orange in the background is kind of, I don't know. Um, I'll have to see. I'll have to see what happens. And this is a picnic basket that I thrifted. Um, this came from Goodwill. This is the lining. It's kind of stained and sad looking, but when you put decor in this and you make a display with it, it is gorgeous. I do have a couple of other picnic baskets as well. This one came from Goodwill. This is thrifted and it will be used this year. And then this huge one also was from Goodwill and it will be part of the decor this year as well. May change out a pick or two because this one doesn't match to me. But may change those out. But yeah, so far this is what I have and I am going to start decorating very soon go to the store and buy anything that i feel like i need to add but yeah thanks for watching and pretty soon i'll be doing a video of decorating my tiered tray so be sure that you come back and you subscribe and you share this with other people and you'll be notified of the next time that i upload a video thanks for watching bye